Oh, yeah. Hey everyone, how you doing? Uh, so I have a special video for you today. It is the review of the Super Tank oil container from Diamond. Uh, but before I get into the review, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the history of this thing. Uh, this came out, you know, in the, I think, late 90s and lasted all the way to the mid-thousands or something. I can't really remember the dates, but uh, this used to sell for like $30 brand new. It was a company in China that made them. And then I guess, I don't know, they weren't selling well or something happened or something happened over there. The company is no more. They do not make these. So the cheapest you can find these now is $150 uh, because you're paying like a collectible vintage price, basically. Uh, they are extremely cool. I do have to admit, and they do work very well. Uh, and we're going to start talking about that right now. We're going to get into how this works and how it works and how well it works. Everything about it. We're, this is the full review on it. Uh, I've been testing this for a while now. Uh, and this is how it started. I started testing it in this titanium war armor. But the problem with that is that it already has a rubber seal on it, right? So you're going to get good results with this no matter what. And... I'm doing a review on this and how the fluid lasts in this in a different video, so I will not be talking about it. So I had to put it in a regular Zippo to give it a real experience, a real chance, because it was lasting a very long time in there. Uh, so I took it out and I put it in this, and I've been carrying around like three lighters, <laughs> okay? Like three different Zippos uh, for fluid tests and this and that. I'm doing different tests on all these things. So with this super tank, though, what you're going to get, what I find is I get like two weeks. I got two solid weeks out of this. I, I've been carrying it in my uh, chrome armor custom that I did. Uh, you guys have probably seen the video. I etched this all on. It was pretty fun. Uh, so this is the Super Pro. <laughs> Sorry, I always throw Pro in there. I don't know why, but Super Tank oil container. And it just slides out. It's not screwed in. That screw doesn't have any. It doesn't hold it in any way. It just goes right over it because there's just a tube right through the whole container see the hole through there so how you do this is you get your little screwdriver hold on one second. I gotta get my screwdriver. it's right here it's not a big deal so it's finally empty that's why i'm doing the review I've, I've finally used it it is finally empty uh i've used it a lot so okay so i can't see it on camera hold on it's just too bright there we go okay i'm just gonna take this out and show you how it works you just gotta use this little screwdriver here but Okay, so she comes out like this. There. Okay, so you fill this tank, right? There's a hole right here. That's the whole tank. You fill this thing. It takes a lot of fluid. So this is how much fluid it takes, right? This container, it cuts off to about there because you can't fill it over it, right? So it takes about this much fluid, right? And you, it doesn't fill up on this side, so you can cut that off too. It takes about that much fluid. And I can get like a week, a week and a half if I'm using it every day. All right. So that's actually pretty good consumption considering this is a Zippo fuel canister uh, from Zippo. I put my Zippo Mafia sticker on it that people win on the channel. Uh, that's how much fluid it takes when I fill my entire Zippo, right? So you got to think you're using about how much would that be if you cut that all off? Like. You're using about half, basically. Uh, if you pour it out and pour it in, it's basically half. So you're using half the fluid, and you're getting about the same amount of time you would get with uh, you would get with uh, cotton bacon and the sandwich bag trick that goes on the bottom of the insert. So you're you're, you're getting fairly good results, I have to say. Like this thing is good. I I don't want to like it, it's getting a good review for me. Like I absolutely love this thing, and I just want to thank Ryan for sending this to me and let me borrow it. Uh, he, you know, he's not letting me keep this. I have to send this back to him. So he just wanted me to do a review and show people how it works. So see this, this screws into the thing, this pin, and then see every th set of threads has a line through it. Okay. Every set and my fingernails on that one, then it'll go over and there'll be another one. Okay. So the fluid seeps through those four slots. See them? See those two? Oh, so is it just four or two slots? I can't see. 
Okay, so it is just two slots. I th sorry, I was wrong. It was two slots. My eyes were playing tricks on me. I was spinning it too fast. I thought there was four. Uh, so there's two slots in the threads. The, the fluid seeps through those spots in the threads, goes into this cotton piece, right? And it is screwed in right here. Uh, what I think, now this is like a hard, this is like a tightly packed, hard felt cotton. Uh, now, I don't want to take this apart or do anything to this. This is not mine. I just, I... You know what I mean? If something happened to it, I'd be responsible for it. And I'd feel bad for Ryan. Like I said, it's not mine. What I would think I would do, honestly, is I would take this piece off and I would use cotton bacon and I would wrap a tight wind, screw it down. I think I would do that because you still have to put a little bit of cotton in the top. Uh, see how he has it here? You have to put a little cotton in the top and still a little piece of wick. The wick is short. You just cut off a little short piece of wick because this, this goes right to the top right like when you put this in this goes right to the top like there's no room for it to go in any farther it stops it's it's right up in there everywhere it needs to be right so there's only a little bit of room for cotton at the top and overall i have to say it's pretty good and it does it does work better than say my sandwich bag trick but the thing is I have, the only reason that's true is because it uses half the fluid it takes to fill a Zippo, right? That's that's why I have to say that. It takes half the fluid. And it lasts about a week, week and a half. Like, uh, you could get two weeks if you, it was, you just kept this as like a table lighter or whatever. You could probably get that long. But the problem is, too, keeping it standing up, keeping, keeping this thing standing up, sorry. Okay, what happens when you keep your lighter standing up like that? fluid is now not soaking this piece of cotton anymore right because you're not tipping it over you're not using it and then it's not uh, getting the cotton saturated it's not getting the wick saturated right so there is issues with this i do want to say but if you're if you're using this as an everyday carry yes you're not going to have those problems uh but another thing is too though so when this if you keep this standing up and you go to use it you'll think it's out of fluid it's not out of fluid the problem is this is all dry because it's been standing up, right? There's nothing in it. There's no vapors in it, no nothing. So uh, that's an issue you got to deal with uh, if you're using it as a table lighter only, right? And you're trying to see how long it lasts. It really won't work that well. But using it, carrying it every day, not an issue. So you don't have to worry about it. So overall, it's pretty good. But my sandwich bag trick and cotton bacon, like I said, you use cotton bacon, you use a sandwich bag trick. You get two weeks on your Zippo anyways, right? So... For the price of buying this collectibly to use, say you see this video, oh, I really want one. Well, just use the cotton bacon and the sandwich bag trick because you'll basically get a better performance out of it. Yes, you are using double the fluid, but overall you're saving fluid too because if you just fill your Zippo regularly, you only get like four or five days out of it. So there's, there's really a lot to take in and uh, a lot of different ways you're going to look at this. Uh, but if you want this for the collectability and you're going to spend the 150 bucks, okay, get it. But like, there's not many available either. So, uh, if it's, so if that one on eBay is already sold, then I don't know what to say because <laughs> I've only seen one or two. And that was like a month ago when I first got this and was looking at it. And if that's the case, then yes, get one. But if you, if you're looking at this as a way to save fluid, just use the cotton bacon and the sandwich bag trick. You're going to be fine. And also, I have an insert coming in that's completely sealed on the bottom. Uh, you can order them on AliExpress. I'll be doing a review on that when it comes in. Uh, I have no idea how it's going to perform. I, I'm guessing it's going to perform well. It's also got a chimney cap, uh, so it'll stop evaporation from the lid. I'll have a full review on that. So, anyways, thanks, Ryan, my buddy from BC, for sending this. He also sent uh, this titanium war armor for me to experiment to, and I'll be doing a whole different review on that. Uh, separately in its fluid consumption and how well it works uh, and like I said these are my this was one of my first custom zippos I ever did it came out pretty good uh, getting better and better at it I've done a lot of cool ones and uh, you can go back and check out those videos of how I did it been practicing my engraving and things like that so everyone take care I hope you enjoyed the review I will see you in the next one I hope to see you in some of the live streams